Yes guys, welcome back to the video. So today we have top 5 icons under 500k. Now I don't want to waste too much time, but before we get into it, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, subscribe, notifications on, you never miss a video. So without further ado, let's get into player number 1. Um, pretty much I've gone for a mixture of positions and, uh, you know, some are mid, some are prime and some are baby icons. There are icon moments under 500k but it's because they're bad so um, I'm not going to include them for the sake of including an icon moment. But player number one goes by the name of Mr. Sol Campbell and it's his 80, um, 87 version, his mid version. Um, sorry, concepts on. Here we go, 82 pace, 87 defending. Uh, he's absolutely insane. Sol Campbell, literally. I played against him like a few times in the weekend league, and when I do, you notice him there. Like it's you can forget shooting, pass, passing, and dribbling on Campbell because let's let's face it, he's got nothing uh, uh, in those stats. Maybe good reactions and composure, but it's all about that pace, defending, and physical. With a shadow, he just goes up to a he rivals like um, you know Rio and Varane and stuff like that. He's insane, and he, he he pretty much is the cheaper Rio Ferdinand in my opinion. And every time I play him. He's absolutely incredible, so he takes number one spot. Forgot to mention, guys, um, Campbell comes in at about 470k on Xbox. Uh, by the way, the prices on Xbox are a little bit cheaper than PlayStation, but obviously they can fluctuate. Right then, icon number two is going to be a midfielder who can play in CDM, centre-back, um, well, pretty much anywhere. He's a cam out of packs. I did actually pack him uh, tradable and sold him for a mil at the time, and this is early on. But it is Mr. Laurent Blanc, um, baby version this time, not a mid. Um, absolutely just a tank in the midfield. So, like I said, he can play centre-back or um, CDM, something like that. And his stats are just so well-rounded. He's, he's quick and he's actually really tall. 6'4", medium-high. Two-star skill moves don't, don't matter on a centre-back or a CDM. Three-star weak foot is, is good enough. It'll do. But um, it's really just uh, the, the amount of all-round stats this guy has. And I'd probably put an anchor on him or even a sentinel, get the defending and physical all the way up. Just absolutely insane all round. And that's why he was at a mill when I packed him. So um, he has come down to about 460 on Xbox right now. And that is a steal for a meta icon you'll get. Next up then, third icon of the video is a centre forward out of PAX. And he goes by the name of Alessandro Del Piero. Um, I was checking it was Alessandro then. I didn't want to say it without... Um, making sure it was. There he is, his baby version is under 500k, um, an absolute tank. The baby one, I think, I'm pretty sure it's better than his mid, I'm just going to check. Um, yeah, it's better than his mid, it's got more pace and um, it's just like more of a meta icon if you know what I mean there. We've got 5 star weak foot on this one, 4 star skill moves, 5 foot 9, perfect, high medium, can play striker, can play any of the cams, left cam, right cam, middle cam. Um, could even play an attacking centre mid role, although he doesn't have the defending and physical. But I know some people like their their wide centre mids to push up, so he can play there as well. Look at those stats though, his shooting, finishing in general is so, so good. And then the dribbling is where like, he excels, obviously 90 ball control, 91 dribbling, 88 composure. Brilliant pace, probably check a hunter on him, or even um, a dead eye if you don't mind about the pace. Something that, like that would make Del Piero an insane card, and such a good deal for about 470k on Xbox right now. Icon number 5, getting through these quite quickly, is going to be uh, Emilio Butchergrano, um 87 rated, so the baby version. And this guy's probably, or arguably one of the best in this top 5, because they're in, they're in no particular order, but he's... He's so, so good. Five-star weak foot is so amazing on uh, on your striker. If you can have that, it just it just breaks down the game so well for you and you can just shoot on any foot. Medium, medium doesn't really matter in my opinion, but it might to you, so it might put you off. Five foot six is cool because he literally dribbles in and out of defending. Then into his in-games, look at those shooting stats. 91 finishing, 90 attack positioning, rapid pace, 90, 90 acceleration and sprint speed. And then good agility and balance. Well, not even good, like great agility, 88 and 87. Great ball control, 89, dribbling, 89, and that's probably why he feels so good in game. I've had him in the draft before, played against him, had him on other FIFAs, and he's insane. It's that five-star weak foot, I think, that sells it to you because he can just shoot on any foot and he's going to finish them. Get him behind and he's, and he's done. That's icon number four. Wrapping up the video is none other than Mr. Where is he? Vidic. Um, we, can't, we can't spell his name there. Nemanja Vidic, here we go. 
and it's his prime version. I saved it till last just because it's a prime and we haven't had a prime yet. He is the most expensive coming in about 490k at the moment. Um, but you can tell why. 6 foot 3, absolute tank, medium high, perfect for your centre back. 2 star skill moves doesn't matter, 3 star weak foot is fine. The pace is it's a little bit under but he makes up for it in those defending physicals. Honestly guys, you don't need, even need to touch them. But even if you do with a chem style, they'll just be like next next to the best possible defending physicals in the game i've played against him and you can just notice well you go you're trying to go past him sticks out a leg boffs you over that's game over because literally guys i don't know something about vidic is tackling i've used him in the draft as well forgot to mention um and he just i don't know something about him and for 490k ish if you've got the coins and you need a center back he is insane guys he's literally one you have to put into your team so then, they, they were my top 5 icons uh, under 500k. If you want me to do any more price ranges or leagues, I've done a Premier League meta one. Uh, you can check that out as well. Um, we can do even like under 300k because it's icons under that. Um, we can do higher, we can do 750, 1 mil, 2 mil. Depends, whatever you guys want, um, let me know. But hopefully that, that has helped you into buying some icons uh, or even doing SPCs. Obviously there's SPCs out for icons, you can can uh, weigh up the pros and cons of them but um yeah if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe already peace